In other news, Exuma's local economy getting a big boost with the construction of new roads, highways, and improved infrastructure thanks to Bahamas Striping Group of Companies. Her Desmond Sanders visited that island recently and provides us with a preview. A smoother, faster commute for thousands of Exumians. 50 workmen from Caribbean Pavement Solutions, a subsidiary of Bahamas Striping Group of Companies, constructing new roads, expanded corridors, and creating enhanced traffic markings. A $60 million road pavement and improvement initiative between Bahamas Striping and the government. The road work's being carried out in Mount Thompson, Georgetown, and Mosstown, and at this major corridor constructed several months ago in Hooper's Bay, Exuma. Managing Director of Bahamas Striping Group of Companies, Alan Albury. We've completed this corridor um, some months ago, and what you see going on in the background is we now have the striping, which we call the icing on the cake, so to speak, and uh, so we're putting in the center lines, um, which delineates the lanes for uh, the flow of traffic, as well as they will be installing the reflective cat eyes. I um, just want to point out that there are typically uh, two materials that you can stripe the roads with. One is the high-grade traffic paint, and um, the second is thermoplastic. The thermoplastic lasts for a very long time. You get five to seven-year lifespan out of it. Um, it is being glass beaded so that oncoming traffic at nighttime, once the, the vehicle lights uh, hit the uh, markings, it's going to create the reflective, the reflective lines to ensure that we are improving the safety of the motoring public and certainly for the pedestrians and or those that are on bicycles or other modes of transportation. Since the project starts several weeks ago, over 60 miles of roads have been paved and constructed. Road drainage systems have also been created for better traffic flow during a torrential downpour. Uh, Exomians can be extremely proud to know that they're getting roads built to international standards. Um, and in instances where the roads had uh, deteriorated in some areas to less than 18 feet in width, um, and where, where possible, we've been able to restore the roads back to 24 feet uh, across so that you get proper, uh, proper uh, traffic lanes. And we're also added in the verges, which is five feet on both sides of the roads where possible uh, to ensure that you have a clear line of sight. And so all of these improvements, in addition to uh, the infrastructure component, which includes the uh, culverts, uh, installation of culverts uh, to divert water and storm drainage, as well as the storm wells uh, those are all being installed so we're really excited about this project and when it's all done all the street signs are going to be in the striping will be done uh, lines are in the road reflective markings I mean it's going to be absolutely amazing the roadworks comes at an opportune time as Exuma experiences an economic rebirth. Some $1.2 billion of investments in the pipeline for that island. Town planning chairman for Exuma, Kenneth Nixon, and general manager for Sandals Emerald Bay Resort, Jeremy Mutton, thinks the project bodes well for tourism and the local economy. In town planning, we always figure that something that is moving forward is better than what we have. And so being the construction of this road is a vast improvement of what we had, the road we had before. And so the job they are doing right now is superb. It's having a big impact already. Um, we encourage our guests to actually go and see the sites, go and see Exuma and, and the beautiful island that we have. But obviously we want them to do so in a safe manner. We want them to feel comfortable when they're driving around. And certainly the feedback we've received, um, both from the taxi operators, guests who take the rental cars out, is that you know they feel very comfortable, they feel very safe. The road improvement project continues and officials are eyeing a 20 2024 completion date. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News, 